Okay, we're gonna work on your tempo some more. This is exercise number two in your tempo drill. Remember in the last drill, we were standing up straight with the pipe and we were turning and turning back, establishing our tempo, learning how our tempo works and learning how to play with slow and fast tempos. This time, we're gonna do the same drill, but we're gonna do it with a club. And we're gonna do it standing up. We're gonna take those angles out. Just put the club in front of you and then turn back and turn forward. And what we're working on here is your tempo, it's not your swing. Now remember how I do it is I turn back with my shoulders. It's a shoulder turn. You want to feel like your shoulders are turning and like they are screwing your trail foot right down into the ground. You'll feel your trail foot with the spikes digging into the ground. And when you get to the point that your trail foot is saying, hey, I can't turn anymore, you're fully coiled, then just take your trail foot and twist it and do your down turn. So for me, the trigger to do my down turn is when my trail foot is digging in the ground and it almost feels like it's right on the point it's going to slide out from under me if I turn anymore. When I get to that point, that's when I do my downturn. Maybe you go back and then forward. Now I know it looks like there's a pause at the top. There's not. Do not pause at the top of your back swing. What's happening is the momentum of my turn, and I'm turning with my shoulders, the momentum of my turn is continuing to go backwards. And when I get to the point where I'm starting my downturn, I'm twisting this foot, I'm using my legs to initiate the downturn. Well, it takes a moment for my leg action to overcome the, the backwards emotion or backwards inertia that was established when I turned backwards. So it looks like I'm pausing, I'm not. What I'm really doing there is I'm turning my foot and it takes a moment for me to overcome that backwards inertia and turn it in the other direction. So I'm stra straining, stressing my leg, trying to turn forward. And once I overcome the in inertia, then I'll go forward. Now because of that, what you'll feel at the top of your back turn, you'll feel, and you've heard people say it, that they get to the top and then they start their downswing, but it feels like their arms are being left behind. That's because the momentum of your arms is still backwards. Now if you try to start your downswing with your arms, you can't get that left behind feeling because you're using your arms. But if you use your feet, if you do a ground up swing, if your swing comes from the ground up, then you'll have that feeling at the top of your back swing that your arms are being left behind because your arms are still going backward. Their inertia is still going backward while your feet are turning you in the other direction. So you should be on the lookout for getting that my arms are being left behind feeling. Now experiment with different speeds on here. Remember this is a tempo drill. You're trying to find your right tempo and you're experimenting with different tempos, seeing which works best for you, which one you like. So do some fast, do some slow, do some in between. Uh, you're really experimenting with this, finding the one that's right for you. See if I can do a fast one. Lost my balance a little bit there, but that's all right. Let's try it a little slow. Let's try that again. I admit when I do it too slow, it's kind of hard. Uh, fast is actually a little easier for me, but whichever is right for you, 
get that feeling. Now normally I tell you to do this a hundred times, but really you should just be doing this over and over. This is an experiment to see how the different tempos work for you and also to learn what your trigger is at the top of your backswing. Like I said my trigger is my trail foot. When it can't twist anymore, it's digging into the ground like it's been screwed into the ground. When it's turned so much, my foot's saying, hey, I can't turn anymore. That's when I use my foot to drive the downswing. If you, a little hint here, if you watched my uh, trail foot work, the move is I take this foot and I twist it. Take it, twist the toe out, twist it. What happens when you keep your spikes in the ground though and twist it, is it rotates your hips. Again, tempo drill, uh, experiment with some different speeds and just see what kind of tempo you can get to.